everyone. So today I want to um, quickly share a, a video with you guys. And I was thinking um, that I, I just kind of like a quicker or more user friendly. Um, gate <laughs> like system and there's electric gates right so <laughs> most people have like this here with the electric gate or this I was thinking more like this you know um, I guess it doesn't really matter the style or the design. It's mainly the shell and the, and the mechanism that, I'm, I, that I want to uh, talk about. More um, the diagram of, of, the, of the gate. And, um, you know, di the diagram, like, uh, yeah, the sketch of, of the diagram. Like a heart, you know. See, it has the, all the mechanical parts within it. Everyone knows what the what the hell a heart is, right? But I want to get into the mechanical stuff. And without electricity whatsoever, so what do people have to do right now to open up their gate? And without electricity, well, they, first of all, they would have to get off. They usually have a chain around the gate. And then they have to open it, get in the car, drive in, get back out, close it, lock it, and then they can continue. Then they want to come out again, they have to repeat that whole freaking process all over again. And forever until... They get electrical fence or my idea. Um, there's these uh, wire gauges um, for winding like uh, stuff like up or down. Um, hopefully, I can get a. Um, Kind of like a crane. Um, see, I'm not getting the, the re search results I want. So, crane um, up and down. Um, neck. Uh, I'm trying to spell the mechanism. So, okay. Mechanism. Uh, so, it, it, what it what it involves is um, these um, like these wires. Obviously, it gets curled up in here, wind up like something like this, like like this, and then um, and then it goes up and down. So what I was thinking was um, th these gates can have, um, you know, obviously you're going to have to have the, um, the control system. And I thought, I thought I seen a picture of it right now. Like, you know, when you drive up and then you have the, um, the numbers, yeah, this thing right here to put input the code. So here, I was thinking where you you could have a lever, and if you go down or up, it will either open or close. I guess someone could figure it out, right? And and then the way that it will lock, it will not lock from the center of the gate 
unless you have one big door like this one, it looks like it's one big door and it'll swing open. But if you have two doors that swing open or close, you know, like a bar stool, or you can have one door, one big door. Um, if, if you have, whichever one you have, in the control panel, you can have a lock or open uh, button, and basically, I created, in my mind, I came up with a new lock system for this to operate effectively without a chain, um, or without a, a doorknob, or anything like that. So, basically, what it would do is, um, you know, you, you have your gate, like, say this is your gate here. And I guess I could have took the time to draw this, but say this is um, the gate here and you want to open it this way or, or that way or whatever, like, you know, you want to open it like this. Um, well, over here, you can have a lock system that basically prevents this from going out. And then if you push the open, it'll move out of the way so you can open it. And then when you pull the lever down and then you lock it, it will go right there. So it will be like a, um, you know, something like, like my phone here. Um, and then it will basically like hold it to prevent it from going out and opening. And then um, obviously the hinge will allow it to open the other way. Um, so when you remove the lock, it'll open it freely like this. And then when you lock it, it won't allow it to uh, open again. So that's one way that this could work. So you drive up, you drive up to your, your home and then you push the code to unlock it um, or a key or something to unlock it right there, and then that will activate the locks in the gate um, without actually having a chain to open the the whole gate. You have the lever when you when you say you go down and it'll open it. So you push down, it will open it. You drive in. Obviously, the remote control stuff is going to stay there. But when you drive in, you're going to have a secondary. Um, uh, gate um, control panel type of thing. That's what I'm thinking. And then you'll be able to crank it up and then lock it right there. So without that, this is this will work without you having to get out of your vehicle. And then um, obviously it'll be leverage where it'll be um, simple enough for you to crank it, open or close it. Um, or, I mean, there's some smart people out there, they could probably do it, um, like automatically, but without, um, you know, like a rail system like this, it would just be, um, like wires and, and it will have, uh, like a retractable, um, gauge system where, It'll either open it or close it, like the like the crane type of mechanism. You know, so I, I mean, I hope I explained it. I should have probably. It would have been simple for me to uh, just do a quick sketch sketch on on a piece of paper to illustrate what I was um, thinking about. But um, yeah, in simplest terms, I saw it. It really is and. All, all it would do without, um, you know, like ex expensive, um, you know, machinery or whatever. So, I mean, see, it could be two ways. It could be full electrical, where you just push a button and obviously it'll open. You know, there's remotes for all that. But if you want to go a cheap way, affordable way for for everyone to have and own a like an automatic gate kind of thing, then obviously you're gonna have to pull down and then it'll open or close that way. Um, 
I mean, I think that beats having to get off your car, open the gate, unlock it, open the gate, drive in, or walk back into your car, drive in, get off your vehicle again, close the gate, lock it again, and then get back in your car, and then drive away. So, yeah, that's a simple concept. Um, very, very simple, self-explanatory type of thing. And, um, you know, I don't think you need a major in freaking philosophy or science. You know what I mean? So, there you have it, people. So, I hope you guys like this. And um, hope you guys... Uh, Give it a thumbs up if you guys like it. And um, if you guys like this idea, go to Invent or Don't Invent on Facebook. Um, and this is definitely an idea that can be implemented on almost any home affordably. Um, I mean, you could probably do it yourself. Um, and um, I was talking about leverage. So when you go down and crank it up or down to either close it or open it, um, you know, you're not going to re require like 50 pounds, you know, pushing down or up because the, the, somehow there'll be leverage that will do that for you. Um, kind of like picking up a big stone um, a boulder, I mean, you can't pick it up, but if you put a, um, what is that called anyway? Let me see if I can find it. See, like this. So, and you probably can't pick this up, but if you put something here with a stick, then you, if you pull down, then it's easy to uh, lift uh, the rock and, and move it. Um, see, so th there's different ways um, to to do this, where you know, obviously, it won't. Um, require too much force and anyone will be able to do it and I guess the idea with the law thing um, another way honestly that it can be done um, you know there's these smart locks now so there could be a smart lock uh, remote where it will open it or close it as well um, or it could be like the way I was explaining uh, earlier. So I mean, there's different um, ways to to make this work and and to um, work effectively. And I think the more people that brainstorm all these concepts um, can uh, make it where. It's cost effective, and um, where just just about anyone can own their own um, gate, and not just a gate, but you know a. a um, a way to easily secure your property and your assets and be able to do that in a matter of seconds. So that was it. It's that simple. <laughs>